So if you subscribe to the newsletter of Tag Heuer two days ago, you will have received this email saying that they have revamped the connected watch face, okay? Um, so if you click on the link, they actually show this hypnosis watch face there. So let's get into the actual app, shall we? Um, so we got the classic. There's a bit of an upgrade with the classic, by the way. And um, the rest seems to be same, but we got this synopsis here as well. Okay, so just to going through those now. So this is the one I use most of the time. But um, regards to the classic, you'll see that it's more Tag Heuer-like, should we say. Um, and if we go to the options of changing it, the settings, the color seems to be the same for the classics, but I, I like the blue. Um, but the style, we got more styles here, and um, I like the complication there. But the most outstanding one is you can actually change the ambient setting as well. For I like the ambient green kind of color, but you can actually go for the ambient, which is much dimmed version of it. But um, that's the one. Now for the new watch face called the synopsis is quite an interesting one you get a lot of information on one page uh, one face should we say so if we click on it color of this um, it's very minor change but i got this as a red as a standard but you could go for the green um, neon green should we say this one seems to be like a, almost like a grayish green color like a grayish orangey color and this is just purely black and white or standard without any colors just white um, and this is just purely gray i mean this is quite interesting let's have a look it looks like you're looking at the black and white old screen here i don't know why why they put that in but um the other color is the grayish light blue uh yellow orange and finally the red the settings are that you can go for watch battery here or weather I, I change it to notification there, but there are three more that you could actually put in. Um, so in here, I actually put on the uh, world clock. And this one is when the sun sets, but you could also put weather or, or other world clock or date. And um, this, this is another option that you could put most of the notifications on it. But this is my person personal um, settings but one of the things that put me off yes I know that these um, so-called sunsets and weather uh, clock and this um, international resembles to the style of the um, where is it the uh, Helios way but what I'm not happy about is that this one has a tag Heuer symbol on it so my feedback or suggestion would be is that why can't we have a lovely tag Heuer uh, emblem or the symbol on top of this empty gap here otherwise it just looks like a standard smartwatch I do like the way how ambient is just dimmed down yes you've got the same color but it's much um, dimmer but still I mean guy like me who paid um, a lot of money for this smartwatch, which most people won't buy. I think it deserves a tiny uh, emblem of Tag Heuer on top of it to remind what sort of smartwatch you're wearing. I mean, the quality itself, no doubt, using it for a very long time is the best that I've... It's it just gorgeous, this smartwatch. But just one tiny request, please, for Synopsis, can you please add the um, Tag Heuer emblem on it? That would be much appreciated. Otherwise, this just looks like a standard tech, um, smartwatch. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do try it out if you have one as well. It's a nice function. Anyway, all the best. Bye-bye.